Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Brigade. I'm your host Brian Greer and today on the show we're taking a look at the Doomlings game coming to Kickstarter on March 2nd. If you're interested in more make sure you check the links down below for a link to their Kickstarter. But without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at Doomlings. Welcome to the game of Doomlings where we're going to be competing for dominance against other species on a far and distant planet. We start at the beginning of the birth of life and each round we're going to have different stages that we're going to be completing as we play along. The stages, as well as the cards we play, all have different effects in terms of what we're doing. Let's take a look at the cards that we have here in front of us, and then we can talk about the different stages and how these impact each turn. So, right off the bat, we have five different types of cards that are located in the game. We've got the red cards, the green cards, the blue cards, the purple, and the colorless cards. Every type of card matches into their own category and they all have something similar in terms of what they do. Uh, and they have a small ability in the bottom corner will tell you what they do. And on top of that, in the bottom left corner is the points value that these, are, are, these cards are worth. Some cards are um, dependent on other aspects in the game. For example, kidneys. If my Doomlings evolve kidneys, it says the value is equal to the number of kidneys in your trait pile. So when you play your cards, you'll play them into your traits. These are the traits that your Doomlings are taking as they evolve their own unique species. Swarm is also one of those cards that says the value is equal to the number of swarm traits in play, including this one. So some obviously will count other cards you're playing. They also count other people's cards on the field. Other cards will have a static ability or have no ability at all. So fine motor skills is just to, worth two points flat. So this is the basic idea of what the game is. We're going to be playing different types of cards, trying to match different sets, trying to match different uh, attributes in your tableau as you also correspond to the different ages. So let's take a look at what those ages are. At the beginning of the game, you create a age deck with the first card always being the birth of life. The cards will tell you right at the top what you're going to do. So for example, the birth of life says you start with five gene pool. The gene pool is the amount of cards you can have in your hand at the end of the round, at the end of each turn rather. Uh, so this one says five. We start with five gene pool. Until world's end, play one trait each turn, stabilize at the end of your turn. And we'll talk about stabilizing. So what that means is if we have our cards here, let's find some cards that were in my hand. I don't know where I put them. Those are all ages. Where did I put my hands of cards? I sorted them all into something. We'll just take another. <laughs> I literally have no idea what I did with my cards. We'll just take a, a cards here. So let's say I had these in my hand. They're a little bit more than normal. And I could play a card for my turn. Woody Stems. This card has some flavor text. And the flavor text on this one would say, These here is how I transfer fluid from my roots to my shoots. So I am the first trait that I'm playing in terms of my doomlings are woody stems. Since I have nothing else to do, I would count my cards. So normally I would have four cards in hand after playing that. And I stabilize, which means I would draw up to my value here, which means I would draw one card. After everyone has played their cards for the round, we then do another age. This is where the game will start getting its variety and its changes in terms of how the game is going to play. There are 25 different ages that you can play that are good ages, and there's 15 catastrophic ages. Catastrophic ages can range from, say, a nuclear winter where everything can get destroyed, a retrovirus uh, ruining our species, or even the four horsemen coming to a clean house. After three different catastrophes have been played from the age deck, the game ends and the world's end trait will then trigger instead. And at the world's end, we will then count our points to see who has the most points in total. The other unique parts of this game is we can have cards like this camouflage, which is a dominant trait. The dominant traits are notifiable because they have this gold border around the text here and also says dominant at the top of the card. You can have two dominant traits in your deck and these cannot be taken away from you. There are different effects in this game that could be swapping traits from your opponents or taking cards away from them. These dominant traits are in effect, they are like a keystone of what your faction or your, or your, your species are. So these are important. You can only have up to two of those. But throughout the game, you'll be playing different traits. There are some cards that have action symbols on them, which will then trigger an additional action, like draw four cards or swap a card with an opponent. And you can play these combinations to try to get the most value out of your game. 
I definitely feel like the way to play this game the best is to just kind of get into it and start playing immediately. So after every one is taken a turn, we'll continue flipping these age cards until you hit a solar or until you hit a, a, a catastrophe. You'll then do what the catastrophe says. For example, this one says minus one to your gene pool. If we were still at five, we would have to minus our gene pool down to four. And then it says discard half your hand, round it up. And so these are things that you will then do to play the game. You will then complete listening to these rules. Some of these have immediate effects like the fortune says draw two cards. Uh, Tectonic Shift says players cannot play green traits. So those are kind of rules that you'll have to abide by as you're playing. Uh, that is the quick rundown of what Doomlings is. Again, this is coming to Kickstarter on March 2nd. So if you're interested in checking out more of this kind of a two to fun, a two to six player uh, card game, definitely check out the link down below. In terms of my quick analysis, this is a prototype, so I always hate to give a, a true review of a game, but I can say my initial impressions of the game were very fun, and I felt like the more players we added increased the amount of fun that we had. I played at two, we played at three, and we played it at four, and while I did have a lot of fun at two players and I had a lot of fun at three players, I felt like having the more players created this more chaotic and exciting event where things were happening all around and people were stealing people's traits and it was more enjoyable for me at that time. Uh, the game is pretty light. You can play it in about 15 to 20 minutes. In fact, we pop this out most uh, every board game night now where we're just looking for something to do at the end or before we start playing. It's just an easy, hey, you wanna play a game of Doomlings real quick? So I really like it for that early filler game. Uh, I definitely think the art is unique and cute. It's one of the other traits that I love about the game is the unique different types of arts they have throughout the game. I definitely would give them a bonus for that. Uh, and things I'm looking for more. Uh, I think that just having more cards would be sweet. Uh, this deck is pretty large as it is, but as you get through it, you definitely burn through a lot of the cards and we'd like to see maybe more variety. Although they have a lot of unique cards. In fact, the only ones that are uh, duplicate, I would say, are the ones that are meant to be duplicated, like the kidneys or the swarm cards. Other than that, every card is unique. I definitely recommend this game. If you want to check it out, make sure you check the links down below and I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you